A Detroit man was killed at a Coney Island after he was robbed of his designer glasses. Now police believe that a person of interest in the case is hiding out in Ohio. He's one of potentially three people connected to this murder and multiple other crimes across the city. He was also involved in a police chase and what ultimately led to a five hour long barricade situation. Our Ray Strickland has those details tonight from police headquarters in downtown Detroit. We believe this person is armed and dangerous. Detroit police are identifying 28-year-old D'Antonio Jones as a member of what they describe as a violent group that committed multiple crimes, including two murders. One of them happened at this L. George's Coney Island on Evergreen and Joy Roads, where a man was robbed and murdered over his jewelry and designer glasses. Prior to the shooting at the uh, L. George's Coney Island, um, he was uh, videotaped uh, inside of one of our green light locations, about 45 minutes, matching full description of clothing and everything else. Detroit Police Assistant Chief Charles Fitzgerald says a car that was spotted at the scene of that Coney Island was found in Ohio. Fitzgerald says this Chrysler 200 belonged to a family member of Jones and believe he's now hiding in Cincinnati. We recovered the white 200 down in Cincinnati. We believe he has family in the Cincinnati area and he also has family in the Kentucky area. But we believe because of where the car was, he's most likely last seen in Cincinnati. Jones is one of possibly three people who led police on a chase Sunday in this stolen Jeep before it ended on Detroit's west side. It sparked an hours long barricade situation in Anna Garcia's home. Garcia and her family managed to escape after reporting they heard something in the basement. But Jones or one of the other two people weren't there. It was very scary. My son was my 10 years old. He was very afraid. Fitzgerald says police need the public's help to find not just Jones, but possibly up to two people who went on a violent crime spree in just seven days. Please do not approach. Just call uh, 911. And Fitzgerald says you can also call Crime Stoppers where you can leave an anonymous tip. Reporting at the Detroit Police Department, I'm Ray Strickland, CBS News, Detroit.